peoples. So yeah, um, I've got to turn the up, but anyway. But we are back for part two of Crash. And it just says Crash. And we are now at Temple Ruins. Now this place is basically a darkish place. And since I restarted the game, my lives are back to four. Not really what I wanted. And I think you can get the gem in here, I'm not really too sure. And play this level and a half. But yeah, if you're really concerned about your life, just go back to Insanity Beach and get more if you want. Especially if you're trying to do a hard level. So yeah, a little, a little more fact about Akuaku. Crash did not originally know him until he opened the first Akuaku box. And Akuaku is actually a witch doctor. But when Akuaku died, he turned into a mask. And Akuaku actually has a brother that will be revealed in the third game. Will Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. For their time travel. So Cortex, in reality, is trying to get all the gems to conquer the world and also release Uka Uka. Who's been giving him instructions? So Uka Uka's been basically giving instructions for the first two gems. Indeed, it's on his temple. And Akuaku does not get a voice until the third game. So yeah. Uka Uka was sealed by Aku Aku in order to protect the world. And then Cortex comes along in this year. So yeah, Aku Aku. He's basically Crash's, you know, friend, um, former friend. Kind of like how Spire the Dragon, and also on the PS1, has like a dragonfly as a health. Whoa, almost fell down. You have to be a little careful, you can kind of slip sometimes. Now these things don't get crushed by them, I think that would be fairly obvious by now. Now in the second and third game, your archive will come automatically. Instead of having to hit it. Now, what you do is you run left and boxes will appear, although the apple would signify you to go that way. So you would have curiously tried to got the apple and gone back and might have hit the block. And you need to go this way if you want to get all the boxes. See, I thought the first few, the crash might turn out a good. Feel like keeping secrets like Crash 2, no one ever picked up to jump on a stair of Nitro crates, which are basically explosive TNTs with a certain amount of countdown, and you touch on them all. They hurt the player. I mean, no person in their right mind would, but it leads to the purple gem. Like I say, sometimes you just need to touch a genius. So here the platforms will start to. Uh, will actually start to fall and that. And if you're stuck on that platform when it falls, then yeah, you're pretty much screwed. <laughs> I never, you know, it's kind of weird how the platforms just know where to go. You know what I mean? Anyways, it's, it's, it's a game. You're not supposed to question its physics. And here's free lives. Yeah, get it, free, free lives. Doesn't bug me. But yeah. I always thought the jumping 
always got the better of me. So sometimes in the question mark box, kind of like the first question mark box in um, Insanity Beach, there will be a life hidden. And I believe that was all the lies, so I think we got the gem then. And yes we do! And I get a normal clear jam. Oh yes, it will not show the precise order of what you got your gems in, so you may be confused and think you might have lost a gem. But I'm just going to go back and check, because you never know. I might have not have saved in the last part. Even though this is one day after the first part, still. You always gotta check. She might have screwed it all up. Younger rollers, yep, everything's good. Now I can't get all these gem arms um, until I get the colour gems. So Road to Nowhere I believe requires a colour gem. And when you get a colour gem you always have to find the places that's just it. Now Road to Nowhere is an interesting place. I kind of like it. it. It's precise platforming. I like that. And we're invincible. Not really the best idea, but I will. So the red things you're not allowed to actually touch, otherwise you will fall to your death. Ah! Crap! Well, you do require a gem, so this, this bull thing, he's, he, you're not meant to touch him or she's up. I died on a Vince ability again. <laughs> There's actually a life up here. So I wrote to Noah, this, this thing's asked nice, the, the, the free, the, the red platforms are full. You, you can't actually jump on the roads, but it's really hard to stay up. I'm just to prevent easiness. So, So they're giving you a few lives, because you, you will immediately screw up a few times. So I like Road to Nowhere. It's a good challenge. But my, my sister and my mother, when they, they like playing Crash Bandicoot a lot, and they screw up a lot. Now, I'm not sure where you, yeah, you can see the gem right at the checkpoint. Maybe on the recording screen, it's basically right here. You'll see it when I get back to it. So yeah, the eyes you've got to watch out for, because you'll get screwed over, screwed over more than once. So yeah, you've got to rely on your shadow, because your shadow is going to be where you land. I get another live. So, for beginners, this is going to be a level that you're going to barely pass. Well, you're going to, you're going to maybe get a few games over that. That's okay. I got, I got a game over on my first try. Both, when, both as a kid and when I got this um, for the PSN. Now, this ice is the death of me. Now, I'm surprised I made that through without dying, but, <laughs> but I just hate ice. It always screws me up. Now, you want to stay over here. Now, slow the box here. Boxes that are usually in um, mid-air, or you know, above a hole, all the apples, lives, or whatever will usually be picked up automatically. Some boxes, like the lives on at the end of the first round, they'll be given to you automatically. And up to up here, sometimes you can find without a box. Sometimes they'll be left um, there, but I don't know why reasons. 
So it's the turtle. What you need to do with this guy is you need to jump on him. Kind of like you would do it up Fox. Now, there's another gem park here. Boulder Dash. This is the second and last boulder level in the game. So this is obviously a bit hard, but unlike the but unlike boulders, you cannot actually get the gem because you have to require the blue gem. And if you follow every level by doing it chronologically, like all the gems and going chronological level, this this gem will be the last gem you get to 100% because of the blue gem's position. Which 100% walkthroughs will do, I'll do the same. But I'm gonna still give a good attempt. Basically, up arrows and a few boxes. I'm gonna turn it up. I normally don't turn up games to this level because for some reason this game is awfully quiet. And there's a jet flying up ahead, so I'm just gonna wait until it's stopped. I always like pushing the barrel to see if I can just run to the box. In Crash 2, when you when you get to this area and then you get close, Crash will do like a big dive. Oh. Just for epicness. Now, you want to keep holding down when you jump, just so you know. You know what I hate when you always have to hold a button? They always, my finger always wants to itch, and it's doing it now. Now what I don't get is that a ball. That for that level. Now that's actually the only TNT in the level. Run back here, we can just run straight, but yeah. And you can go up here. The boulder will not actually kill you if you do that, it's only when it's spinning. Now, seriously, who likes placing all these traps here? I always liked its music, it was tense and holy crap, it got real music. Now, I was going to plan on making a list of top 25 levels, and Boulders is easily high on the list. Because it's, it's fun, there's nothing more fun than running from a giant boulder that must have squashed the crap out of you. Now, you can see uh, um, this gem. You won't get it until late in the third island, and, and that gem requires another gem. See, we missed 18 boxes because of that one gem car. More excuse for blame then. And oh my god, not Sunset Vista. Sunset Vista is arguably the hardest level to get a gem. To be honest, I always thought Slippery Climb was hard. I mean, Sunset Vista does get Slippery Climb on, on for its money, but. I find Sunset Vista hard, I mean not hard, easy. Oh, what the hell am I saying? Whoa! Over there! Over there! Over there! Over there! These things annoy the crap out of me, because in Crash, I just know that once you screw up, you have to try again. And I get a Aku Aku in a life for my troubles. And I'm already on to 29. But, once again, I like this level. You 
Then again, you know what Crash Bandicoot does? Whenever, whenever I play the other game series that I'm about to say, it's Donkey Kong Country. Because Donkey Kong, when I play Donkey Kong Country, I get reminded of Crash Bandicoot, even though I'm Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong 4 Crash Bandicoot. There's actually a fair few similarities. But yeah. God bless, God bless the day when the Naughty Dog developers were born. I think it was like Jason Rubin or something. Uh, I can't remember. Oh no, there was, there was a Jason. Oh god, I hate those bloody sticks. Whoa! Almost died. I'm just gonna check and see if there's something back there. Yes, there's an apple up. Not much, but hey, eh, I could get damaged. I think the problem is not getting damaged. I think the problem is actually survive. Is actually not falling to your death. Ah yes. And in this level is the first cortex stage. And you and if you succeed you get a key. Now watch out for the torches. Now that first one we jumped onto that just activates, you know, when you jump on it, it will like go down. And there's a lot of flames you can easily drop on. Funsies. Funsies. But if you just want to get to the final boss, you don't have to get the gems, but I want to for 100%. Even though the 100% ending is actually not canon in the Crash series, because 100% ending, when you see, is actually not, you don't actually face the final boss. For whatever reason. Ah, nice healthy checkpoint. Who doesn't love them? So they can scare the crap. And you just gotta wait for your time. And... I'm just observing the timing right now. I'm gonna wait until it does it again. For some reason, I'm going to get invincibility for whatever reason. But I'm going to wait for it to die out. Just because I run fast and I'll slip easier. So you have to be a bit quicker with your timing, but now I recommend just killing this bat here, because he'll get in the way. Now let's jump on here. See, these things, these platformers always make me nervous, but I kind of like the only, the only level I really don't like in this game is freaking Slippery Pond. That level I will hate forever. Whoa, no! Oh, I fell right there. 
See, the cost of falling is basically you have to do this all over. Now, you have to lure this guy over here. I always spin just in case I have to screw up. And I get another invincibility. And there's my first cortex hit. You have to get free to get in. And I almost slipped up miserably. So I'm going to wait until my invincibility dies again. Because, once again, this is this is almost precise platform. You're going to need to be careful. You can see the third island looming up. Now I'm gonna wait until the bats go by. Because I am extra cautious bandicoot mode. And you can see Cortex's castle. Because every villain needs a cut. Now here really no secrets, just I'm just gonna go for the cortex head and then run. And then I'll start the level all over again. I hate it when I have to start the level again. Alright, so that was a dumb move by me, but I'm sacrificing for the case of a key. And if I screw that up, I'll be very mad. But yeah, but once you get a key, you can get a key to the next level, which one of the levels. That folded out, as you saw, um, there was another level that you can get to. I hate this bloody game already. What? How did I die? Alright, I, I want to instant replay that because that was bull. I jumped perfectly on him. You're seriously telling me that that was not... I hit his side? What's next? My nose hits the wall and I get pushed off? <sighs> Once again, bullshit. Seriously, why is it that every every bloody girl that needs to be rescued always has to has to be captured by some guy that seriously has to put thousands of traps in and we're risking our bloody lives for every single bloody trap game on the islands of power just like an idiot. Who will never appear in another party game again. Yeah. Or maybe if we can. Alright, and then study the pattern. Ah! It happened again! Alright, seriously, I hate Sunset Vista right about now. Alright. Why is it that I say every level is not hard, and then immediately I lose 2,000 lives doing it? That's what I don't understand. As soon as I say the level's easy, it immediately comes ten times harder. Oh, come on! Alright, we get it! Will you stop killing me now? Listen, bro, I just want to say this idiot got the subject from being a whole right by quarter. That's all I want to do, but no, you don't let me. I'll do the saving the world thing next. Get it. Not like anyone cares.
There we go. Screw this up, I'm starting whole of it. Ha! Take that, TNT! Take that. Key for me! I love it when I get keys and people don't. And I die. Why do I spawn back here? Oh, screw you people. Don't need your platforms anymore. And I get a spawning round of death. to tell me that. I, that key just appeared there and I did not get it. Well, phew, I get a save point without... Oh my god. F this level so much. Not only do I have to start again for a gem, I'm starting again because I have no freaking key. Anything else you want to tell me? You can do this in un unlimited amount of try. Screw you, Gecko. Screw you. Screw you, Bat. Screw you, Gecko thing. Screw you, too. Screw you, Bat. Just screw everything. Well, at least this isn't slippery climb. Stupid platform. Dead. Just about everything wants to kill you in slippery climb. Alright, I'm not gonna bother for an aqua food because I don't need invincibility. I need wings. Why is it that the heroes don't have wings? Every hero just, just seems to lack an ability to fly. Except on su except if they have a super or something. Ah, you mother! Well, well, screw you, bat. See, at least the next level's a boss. And I believe the worst part about this is that there's no color gem. 
You ain't get a word of colors if you get a word of a normal gem. Because all the color gems are in the third aisle. For reasons I quite don't understand. Screw you, Jumping Gecko. Screw you. And screw your friends while you're at it. Oh yeah, by the way, metallic boxes such as exclamation mark box, they will not count to your box count. Unless they activate boxes, then you may as well get them. Like, they're still up arrow boxes. The bounce boxes. Those are my county box total. Don't need these wooden crate ones. The cardboard. Fun fact, the stuff below me is actually water. You fall down there, that's actually water, it's not like a bombless pit or some shit. No idea why. Maybe they thought drowning was a better option. <laughs> oh, fine, I'll let you live back. But only cuts. Yeah, and I forgot I had to do so much. Don't you hate it when you have to do all those platform sections again, all because of one big screw up? I mean, that just really bugs me. And of course, you don't, you can't get the bonus round thing, and it's just basically a checkpoint. Then you can only get once per game, you know, like not like one. You don't like restarting your song to get bonus round again. To be honest, if you can't get gems and you can't be first round, you're practically screwed. I don't know how these bridges work, but I don't know. Again, if you actually spin the Wampa Fruit or Aku Aku Mark, you will spin it away and and you can't get it back. Actually survive that somehow, but oh well. Oh yeah, if you spin all the bats and you see the bats on the screen, they'll turn to Wampa Fruit. Wampa Fruit is basically like, you know, the 100 get a life thing. No idea why, it just is. It's game logic. <laughs> and Crash actually loves Wampa Fruit. It's like his favorite fruit. Then again, who wouldn't if a hundred of those gave you a lie? Now, if only junk food could give you a lie. Like, I'm just saying, why is it always the junk food that tastes... Why is it that all the food that tastes good suck? Like, the bad food, the warm up. The stuff that tastes good just tastes... Oh, now I'm getting the invincibility again. Now once again I'm letting my invincibility go. And I thought I could just like to attach a mask across his face. I'm not sure if I could actually possess this crash the whole time, even though he's still you know, play nothing to really change its speed. 
Like when Aquarius Brother Uka Uka goes on someone like like he's not a cortex. Um like Cortex doesn't really remember what he's doing sometimes. It's like that possessed bit. I'm not sure why that is. I'm not sure if Crash can remember, because Crash really can't talk. He might make a few sounds. Oh yes, besides that stupid PANKY! Oh my god, I made a password without dying. Ha ha ha. Oh great, more Aquaku invincibility. This steel block hits you in the head, then it basically counts as damage. Whoa, I don't want to fall, Crash. Crash, bro. Now we're not going to fall again, and we're not going to make the same mistake again. obsession with messing with us. Now here the platform's going quicker, so you have to be a little quick about it. Now there's nothing behind here, so don't worry. You keep jumping. Now let's go pause to my big wants to jump through. No, he doesn't. That's one thing I don't like about dogs. They always take that damn time with everything. But now we're at the stage, so. I seriously cannot believe I screwed that up. And just for that, I get a gem. And it was clear. Could get me, like, you know, maybe a color gem? No, it's a pretty useless gem. So, right here. Now that I am freaking furiously annoyed. You know what, I'll get the key later. Epic key. So this is Koala Kong. He doesn't appear in the second third game, he appears in, um... 
He doesn't return until Crash Bash starts to this. You just have to dodge his rocks, and you have to dodge the TNT. And then when he, when he holds like a heave one, and then he... Yeah, when he does that, it'll... He's basically a muscular guy, he gets replaced by Tiny Tiger. You have to make sure there's no cuts blocking him. Now, now there's no gems here, it's just the team 2 being off the ball. Now, Kyleton is basically a strong but dumb guy. Tiny Tiger replaced him in Crash 2 and 3. And, and Tiny Biz is a team racing. But Qualcomm does return in, um, well, almost done a lot of them. But Qualcomm does return in Crash Bass as a bad guy. Ah, freaking. Ah, freaking, everything's killing me now. <laughs> and Qualcomm won't be seen until crack back. the next boss then or there's color gems in this. Why is there always so much dog warping? That seems the best of that camera bot. So when I say Cortex doesn't have any like main enemies, I forgot that he actually has his lab assist which appear later in the level. They're kinda like the shy guys of the series. Does lab lab assistants have many variations? Now, I'm probably sure you're guessing that you're supposed to sit on the blue ones because the red ones are ultra hot and crash, you're not like So the blue ones are safe, you have to drop down here. Because there is a, a few boxes down here. There's a three ahead. I always like these bubbles, I know. I think the enemies might point out that there's something underneath. Two Brio heads. Like I said before, Brio heads don't really do anything. But yeah, in regards to this game, this game is actually pretty short. And level does not, you're just going for 100%. What makes it long is probably the, the difficult levels. And you can try and get a life there if you want. That's purely your choice. But I got enough. Not like I'm going to waste 39 lives in this level. That ox score isn't it? And I should mention that if you hit another enemy, if, a, if you hit another enemy into an enemy, you get a long group. Now those steam things will hurt you. Duh. <laughs> I 
I always think to jump for some reason. It's like a contest to get the best height. All the boxes. All the boxes are belong to me. 